If you find yourself short of something to do and you want to consume some delicious watch content, then look no further, because we've assembled a list of the top 25 watch-related YouTube channels you should be watching. Stay until the end to see my personal favourite channel. Want to save money on your next watch? The Watchfinder price promise means you'll get the best price. Search Watchfinder to discover more. At one time a shy and gentle man, Nico Leonard was once shortchanged at a Hublot boutique and ever since then vowed to unleash his wrath on the entire industry. If you like your humour loud and your punches unpulled, Nico's your man. One million subscribers can't be wrong. Teddy Baldassar is to watch is what Bill Nye is to science. He knows all things about all the watches and he'll look damn dashing while he does it too. If you want to know which budget watch is right for you or you're not sure which diver's going to float your boat, Teddy's your man. Watching Adrian Barker is like having your own private butler who just so happens to be an expert in watches. His thought-provoking discussions often leave you feeling a new appreciation for the good old wristwatch. If you like nodding along and agreeing with your television, you'll enjoy Adrian Barker. If you're looking for a little bit of European flavour to your watch consumption, Jenny L's channel is where you'll need to be. It is literally impossible to be unhappy whilst listening to Jenny talk about watches. But don't let that fool you. If she thinks something's up with a watch, she won't hold back. For bonus extra content, her husband also has a German language channel, Watch Vice. If you wonder how I know all about the rare and obscure watches in the industry, it's because of this guy, Marco from Swiss Watch Gang. He goes the extra mile in discovering the most interesting up and coming talent in watchmaking, and it's always a pleasant surprise to see what he's encountered next. The OG of watch-related YouTube content, The Urban Gentry, better known as TGV, is where you should be if you want that classic old-school watch vlog. Watching his videos has the same comforting feeling as watching telly on a warm, snuggly Christmas evening. If you're feeling that watches and the people who talk about them are getting a little bit too stale, then Brit Pierce is exactly the antidote. Fun and full of energy, she takes a whole new outlook on the industry that may or may not include wine. She really knows her stuff too. Relative newcomer Elizabeth Grant does what we should all do and not focus exclusively on watches, mixing up her insightful commentary across boots as well. Sounds like an odd combination. Well, it certainly should be, but somehow it's not when Elizabeth does it. A blog to watch has been going such a long time it honestly used to be called a blog to read, but since the invention of YouTube, the editorial outlet, helmed by Ariel Adams, has taken to our screens as well to provide solid, reliable industry updates with the consistency and regularity of the good old BBC. We all like watches, so chances are we like seeing them being serviced as well. The naked watchmaker thankfully doesn't appear as naked as his channel name might suggest, but what he does do is take you through the refurbishment of some delightful vintage watches in his trademark sing-song way. If you like your watchmaker silent, however, you're in luck because Red Dead Restoration doesn't utter a peep. What you do get is lovingly repaired watches of all shapes and sizes, and it's always satisfying to see a worn-out, beaten-up watch get given a new lease of life. Not more watch repairs. Yes, and it's well worth it, because this time we're joining Marshall at Wristwatch Revival as he goes through the process of learning how to service watches. In each episode, there's usually something that challenges him, and it's always great to see him overcome it. If you want a no-nonsense take on the watch scene, especially from a London perspective, Paul Thorpe's your go-to guy. With years in the watch trade business, Paul's perspective is unique in the industry and well worth a listen. Join him on his journey as he reveals the secrets of the business. For a US-centric perspective on the watch buying business, Roman Scharf offers an incredibly transparent view on what happens on the other side of the counter, as well as sharing great tips and tricks for getting the best watch for the best price 
He'll even take you out on his journeys actually buying and selling watches for the most revealing experience. For an interesting twist on the watch YouTuber experience, check out the Time Teller. His humorous but no less informative approach has steered many a newbie into their first value watch, where he offers excellent and detailed insight into the vast array of choices available on the market. For laid-back conversation on watches with some pithy humor and smooth jazz, Theo and Harris is a channel well worth watching. Despite neither host being either Theo nor Harris, the insights are no less interesting and more often than not laced with good banter. Author, videographer, creator of the watch annual and all-round handsome guy, Justin Haas takes on watches with an intense positivity that is hugely infectious. You can listen to Justin talk about just about anything and it'll make you a happier, better person. My wife especially seems to really like him. If you're sick of watch content coming from the Northern Hemisphere, Time and Tide take an Australian perspective on the watch industry. But it's not all beeps and barbies, because the Time and Tide team take production quality as seriously as they do Australian rules football. A true legend in the field, Fed gives an expert opinion uncluttered by fluff and nonsense. He says it how it is, no matter what. But it's not just opinions fired off in every direction. As one of the most knowledgeable minds in the watch game, Fed's got the brains to back it all up. If you want a hot take on all the latest and best value watches, Ben's Watch Club has got you covered. Dealing exclusively with the most affordable end of the scale, Ben's got what you need when it comes to picking out the best of the cheapest bunch, doing the hard work so you don't have to. If you're looking for a sharp take on the best and worst watches, you can't do much better than asking a Scotsman. Just one more watches, Jody gives you his unadulterated perspective on a wide variety of watches, particularly those down the more affordable end of the spectrum. If you've ever wondered what it might be like to combine watch reviews with 90s kids TV, Russ, aka the Mad Watch Collector, has got just the thing for you. He's the perfect antidote to spec lists, price sheets, and pub facts. There's no gunge, however. If you want an in-depth look at watchmaking from both an artistic and scientific point of view, it's hard to think of anyone better to do that than Bill at Watch Art Sci. This guy properly knows his stuff and is a great contributor to the industry in a number of ways. One to check out. This one's a twofer because Watch Crunch isn't just a YouTube channel, it's a watch forum as well. Fronted by host Max, it's a conversation as casual and involving as you'd expect from a friend, which is, funnily enough, what the chat is like over on the forum as well. Enjoy it before the trolls arrive. Miguel of SoCal Watch Reviews is such a nice guy you just can't help but give his channel a watch. Follow his watch collecting journey as he hunts down his next watches from a variety of different brands and price points. For an architect's perspective on watches, you'll want watches with Abdullah. His carefully crafted videos are a joy to watch, complemented by well thought out conversation and unique insight. If there's one of the smaller channels you should give a go here, it's this one. But my personal favourite channel is one you might not expect. It can't be counted in the original 25 because it's technically not about watches, it's about clocks. I am of course talking about Clickspring, which follows Chris as he builds his very own clocks from scratch. He's currently making his own Antikythera mechanism, which includes making his own tools in the same way the ancient Greeks would have done. Fascinating. If you want to check out any of these channels, you'll find the links in the description below. And instead of subscribing to us, I'll ask you instead to subscribe to them and click the notification bell too. And if that's still not enough, you might even perhaps find another channel if you look hard enough. A channel by someone you know very well indeed.